Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new studio vlog. I hope that you're all doing really well. Um, if you're new here, I'm Shannon and I'm a pet portrait and wildlife artist and I specialise in coloured pencil drawings of animals. So if that's something that you're interested in, then make sure you stick around. But yeah, this morning, it is Monday and I have a few orders, one from my website and a couple from Etsy. So I'm gonna start out by packing those. I haven't done packing orders for a little while on here, but yeah, it's because I've not really been replenishing my stock and stuff, but I have had a few, so I will do it now. This one is for Joanna and it's a Robin greeting card and a her bookmark. I'm absolutely boiling today, it's really warm. So I've got the Robin card. Oh, and then I might need to do a new bookmark, that's the last one that I've done and it's got a little bend on it so I'll just go and get another one. These are just the ones that I haven't put ribbons on yet so they haven't got little holes in. So I'll make a little hole. It's looking better and I use these little glassine bags that I've probably shown a million times but it just finishes it off nicely. I've just had a load of new stickers printed because I've run out, so I've got loads now. Let's see how thick that is. I get all my stickers from Banana Print because they're really cheap and they're really nice quality, so I definitely recommend having a look at them if you're looking for some stickers. There we go. So that's those two for Joanna. Pop them in an envelope and I'll just do a little note as well. A little thank you note. It's funny, I always think that picture makes it look like I draw in like pretty dresses, but I am always in my scruffs. I had to buy a new scale because the other one was battery operated and it kept dying and I kept having to replace the batteries. So I got this one from Amazon and this one I can recharge, so that is good. Always good to have a scale if you're doing any kind of shipping. Right, so the next one is for a hedgehog card, a blue tick card, and a Christmas rubbing card. I'm gonna have to put these in a box. Three cards is too many for a little envelope. Stamping it. I always put my um, favorite design at the top. Does anyone else do that? <laughs> I just like to stop them moving around too much with a little bit of like shredded paper. I always do a, a little shuffle test. Just started feeling a little bit sick and then realised it probably didn't help. I've not had any breakfast today so I'm just having some porridge and then I'm going to start working on my current commission which is a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. It is a gift for somebody though so I don't know whether I can share it yet. If I show you what it looks like, I've been given the go-ahead to share it, but if not, then go and follow me over on Instagram and I will be sharing it at some point on there. So, yes, I have currently done most of the face and I'm going to start working on the curly ear today. I think I'm in one of those ways today where I just need to put some music on and just get on with something that doesn't require a lot of, like brain work obviously drawing does require some brain work but you can sort of switch off get into the floor and just crack on so i think that'll be the best thing to do but one thing that's changed since my last vlog is i've started being way more organized and i am using google calendar now to plan my day out because i think i've mentioned it before a lot of time i've always been one of them people that just sort of picks and chooses what they feel like doing and it just wasn't working for me with the amount of different things that I do like my commissions, Patreon, YouTube, like video editing, filming, like all these different things need to be scheduled in so that I can make sure I get everything done. So now I work in time blocks. I'll show you my calendar actually. It might be a little bit messy at the minute. Okay, so this is kind of the structure that I'm following. For some reason, some of these have like messed up a little bit, 
but yeah I am a bit behind today because like I said my brain is not working but this is what I do now I sort of have dedicated time blocks where I do like a few hours on different tasks and it just means that I know what I'm doing and I can sort of move things around if I need to and make sure that I'm getting it all done so yeah this is working so much better for me at the minute and the day doesn't always follow plan but most days I do stick to it so if you're struggling to get everything done you're self-employed or even just like in your personal life this is very handy like I do put stuff in like circuits class although I'm not doing that tonight I've changed it to Thursday which I am so glad that I did that because doing really intense exercise today would not be the one but yeah this really works for me so I would recommend giving that a go if you're constantly feeling like you're behind you can't keep up and you need a bit of structure in your life but yeah the reason that I'm not doing my circuits class tonight is because I am staying over at my parents house I'm house sitting for them because they're going away and I need to look after the cats because our eldest cat Charlie doesn't come through the cat flap he'll go out but he won't come back through so there has to be somebody there to let him back in so yeah I'm just gonna eat this and then I'm gonna get on with some drawing It is now 10 to 1 and I've been doing this commission for the best part of like the whole day so far really and at one o'clock I'm going on a zoom call with my RT friends from Instagram so I did a vlog last year in May when I went to London to meet up with um, all my art friends and every now and then we just get together on zoom and just have a chat about all things like art business how it's going basically just to speak to people that are doing the same sort of thing as you because it can be quite lonely i mean i'm quite good at not getting lonely i do really enjoy my own company and just getting on with stuff on my own but i think it's nice to have people who understand your struggles or difficulties in your business and just have a chat about it and sort of like having colleagues without actually having colleagues so if you're a small business owner or you work for yourself anything like that I think it's good to have people that you chat to I don't know sometimes it's nice just to get a second opinion on things like we have a little group chat on Instagram and we just like ask each other for help like oh which of these pictures shall I choose for this commission you know, just simple things like that get a second opinion on it so yes we're gonna do that at one o'clock and i'll probably carry on working on this commission while we're chatting <laughs> hello 
Hello, Ralphie. Hi, Charlie. Hello, Charlie. Come on then, let's get you fed. Bingo. Minnie has to eat her food around here, away from the other two in her little house. There you go. I've just done paddy one of these briar root things with pate on it, so you can keep busy for a bit. Good boy, there you go. It's like a natural lick mat kind of thing, and they can chew it. Right, I am just working on this commission again this morning. I had a lovely evening last night. I had my bath. There's a lot to be said for having a bath to unwind. I really wish that we had a bath here, but we don't. We just have a shower. And I really miss having a bath. I feel like if you're feeling a bit like stressed or overwhelmed or anything, just a good bath can just sort it out and make you feel more relaxed. So that was lovely. And then I'm going to work on this most of the morning. And then I'm going to film the first part of my next Patreon tutorial later, which is a fox. I'll show you that afterwards. And then later on today, I'll be taking Paddy to the local dog field that you like book out, um, private dog field that's enclosed so he can have a, a little meet up with his friend Jax the Cocker Spaniel that we've met up with once before so he can have a good run round and let off some steam because we don't let him off lead he's not great at recall we're trying but he gets very distracted by dogs because he loves dogs so going to a dog field is good because he can just have a run round and we don't need to worry about him but yeah, that'll be fun. So I'm just going to work on this this morning. Spaniel ears are always tricky, but I do enjoy the challenge. It's like getting all those like weird little curly shapes in. Just got to take a lot of time to build it all up. Lots of browns in this one probably hear him chewing his <laughs> root toy in the background. What's wrong? Okay, I have done quite a bit of that commission now and I've got a very sleepy boy down here. So I'm going to work on the first part of my next Patreon tutorial. But before I do that, I just thought I'd show you the outcome of last month's tutorial. I think I just need to rub some of these like smudges out, but yeah, it's a Kingfisher in flight and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So the fundamentals tier can draw the wing and the advanced tier can draw the whole drawing. So that's the way that I do it now. We sort of focus on one area for fundamentals and then the whole thing for the advanced tier. So yeah. That is how it turned out. I'm really happy with it. I actually think this would make a lovely print or greeting card, but but yeah, still not decided what I'm going to do with that. I did mention in my last vlog I'd like to print them myself. So I'm a bit like in two minds about what to do. But yes, I am happy with that. So that was on Archie's paper. And then this month we're drawing this stunning fox and this will be on Bristol vellum from Strathmore. So you can see the difference in the colour. This is the white arches and this is a lot whiter. I have had a few questions about like the colour of paper and stuff. So this is the comparison for anyone who's interested. I don't know how I'm going to get on with this. I used this paper for the orangutan tutorial and I really struggled to get the texture that I wanted to get, but I think I pressed too hard, so I'm willing to give it another go because this just doesn't like the slice tool that much and this paper loves the slice tool. It gets on with it really well because it's quite like slippy, if that makes sense. So 
I'm going to get on with the first part, which will be the eyes. And um, the eyes and nose will be available for the fundamentals tier for this one. And obviously the advanced will be doing the whole thing. So yeah, I'm going to get on with this now while we've got a very snoozy boy. I'm just setting the camera up and Paddy has fallen asleep on my foot. <laughs> so cute. So yeah, I'm just making sure everything is set up. Oh, I need to do my nails tonight. I've pulled all the gel off. They look a right mess. So this is the reference that my patrons voted on as the favourite for this month. I usually put like four or five different images on that they can choose from and then we work on the one that gets the majority vote. So this is a photo by Keith Bannister who's a local photographer and he's very generous, allows me to use his pictures for basically anything um, that I'm doing, Patreon tutorials, prints, whatever. Very, very kind of him. And yeah, I'm excited to draw this one. I think it's going to be really good. And there's like the clover in the bottom. So it'll be a little bit more interesting, I think, having those extra little bits. I've had a lot of requests for like more foliage and flowers and, you know, like little bits in the foreground from the environment and stuff. So yeah, I think this should be a fun one. I'm going to get on with those eyes now. Right, I'm going to momentarily pause the filming and take Paddy for a walk because now is the time that I would usually anyway. So we're going to go for a walk, come back, have some lunch and he'll probably settle down and I'll get the rest of it done. So I'm going to take him to the canal, I think. Right, here we are. I like coming here because it's only five minutes from my house to drive. So it's nice and quick to get here. We usually walk the other way so I thought it'd be nice to do it this way for a change and I'm only going to do a short walk because he is going to the dog field later so I don't want to tire him out too much but it's a lovely day. How nice is that house? Goals. I don't think I mentioned that last week Paddy wasn't very well. Um, we thought he got bitten by an insect or stung by something because his leg was like, come on darling, his leg was like a little swollen ball on his elbow and then the next day it just sort of spread to his um, entire like shoulder area. It was really swollen and like liquidy and he, he just wasn't himself at all. He was tired. He looked really sad um, and I think he might have got bitten by somewhere on the canal here because it's just, I've never seen so many insects <laughs> in one place. I keep having to like close my mouth so that I don't eat one by accident but yeah I'm starting to wonder if it was on here that he got bit by something but he's just been on um, antibiotics and metacam and he's, he's fine now but yeah, it was a bit of a scare. I was really worried about him. But yeah, it's, I will show you. I don't know if you can see all the insects. They're absolutely everywhere. There's like big swarms of them on the water. I think that walk's tired him out now. Nice and cool down there, Paddy. It is really warm today. I put all my um, plants outside now and look. My sunflowers are opening. Oh, that big one is opened first. Oh, I'm so happy. I need to get rid of them dead leaves and I need to put some little like sticks in these. But oh, I love that. I've also taken these out of the plastic pots and just put them straight into the terracotta ones and I think they look a lot better. Look at this little baby bit coming off the spider plant. This little bit fell off of it, so <laughs> it looks really weird, but I'm gonna try and propagate it and make a new plant. 
But yeah, I think I might go to the car boot on Saturday and just see if they have any more plants because I like, I like having plants. It's something to focus on. Right, I'm back now. I've had my lunch, so I'm going to carry on with the rest of this fox. Okay. That's looking good. Just add a bit more around here. Right, that'll do for now. So next I'm going to add some Burn Orca 187, nice orangey colour and I'm going to start just doing some little fur strokes and bringing that up here. I really need to buy a new one of these soon, I need to do a pencil order. So sort of just like creating that orange tone now. There we are, that's the first part of the fox tutorial completed. I think it looks really good. I'm quite liking this paper, you know. I think I'm starting to enjoy it again. I think I was right, it's better to build it up really lightly and not like ruin the grain too soon because it's very like slippy, this paper. So if you flatten the grain out, then you're pretty much like pretty much done with it so yeah I like it though I think it's gonna look really nice once it's finished and now I'm gonna do my two hours of freelance work for Harrison Cropper and then that pretty much takes me to the time when I need to be getting Paddy ready to go to the dog field so I'll take you along with me Hello, it is a Wednesday today and Paddy is fast asleep on the bed. I think he's exhausted from running around in that dog field yesterday. So I'm going to make the most of this opportunity and carry on with the tutorial of him on YouTube. So I haven't posted on YouTube in like two weeks and I feel like I'm really behind with it, but I've just been busy doing other things and YouTube always sort of has to take the back seat when I'm getting busy. I did my nails last night, they're looking a lot better so I don't mind filming now. I hate filming when my nails are an absolute mess. So yeah, I'm gonna get on with this and then I will probably get on with some editing after that because I'll have two videos to edit. There we go, I've finished the next part. So I've just done the rest of the ear. I think it's looking good. I'm happy with that. And I'm excited to get started on like the nose and stuff. That'll be fun. So yeah, I'm gonna get on with some editing now. I've got two videos to edit and I might just do both of them today. And I might put the dishwasher and washing machine on. So I don't think I'll be doing a lot of filming in that time because it'll be very noisy in here. One video down. I'm just going to have a sit outside for 10 minutes while my lunch is cooking. I feel you heard him. What's wrong? What's up? And whilst my video is ex <laughs> whilst my video is exploiting. And then I'm going to have my lunch and then crack on with the second video. 
video. <laughs> Honestly, he could come over to me and get my attention if he really wanted to, but oh, here we go, here we go. Hello, do you want to be in the video? Come here. Come here, little needy boy. Why are you crying? What are you crying for? Hello everyone, it is Thursday today and I got all my video editing done yesterday and the videos are now uploading and we ended up going for a nice walk, Scott finished work early so we thought let's just get out while it's nice and sunny and today is another really sunny day, it's actually supposed to be nice weather for the next week I think so that's really good and it's bank holiday this weekend so I think we might go to the Lake District for a little day out or something but anyway I have something really exciting to show you today so this parcel came through I'm trying not to show you my address um, which is actually from a company called gs-jj.com and they reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in collaborating on some enamel pins. It honestly still blows my mind whenever a company reaches out to do something like this because I still consider myself like very, very small in the YouTube world. Like I'm still starting out. I just can't believe people would choose me to do something like this over somebody that had like loads more subscribers and views and stuff like that so always very grateful for opportunities like this and i haven't even looked at them yet um so i'm gonna open them with you and you can see my first impression so this is the box it says leading manufacturer of custom promotional gifts this is all of the information should you want to go and check them out so they're a company based in los angeles california which is really cool so excited so this is the inside of the box very nicely packaged let's have a look inside i've sent these as well oh, wow thank you for your order there's some like union jack style pins that's really cool I feel like I want to get like something to start collecting pins, maybe like a tote bag or something, because I actually have a few from like different places that I know where to put them at the minute. So I'm thinking of just getting like a plain tote bag and starting to collect them, but let's have a look at these. Oh, I'm well excited. Oh, oh they're so cute, right? They're so well packaged. <laughs> Okay, so this is the design that I went with. So they said I could either have a go at designing the pins myself or one of the design team would help me to sort of come up with a design together and they would like send me proofs and stuff so that I could approve the design. So I went with the second option just because I wanted them to turn out the best they could and I just thought why not make use of that service if that's an option so this is the finished pin i'll show it you it's a little blue tip i'll just take it out of the um the wrapper there we go oh can you see that hoping it'll focus how cute is that do you know what i love how it's turned out to be quite rustic looking so they sent over a few different um, options for the like metal detailing and I quite liked the antique looking ones. So I think they sent me like silver, gold, antique gold as an option and I just quite liked the slightly more rustic version. Hoping you can focus. Do you see how it's got like that sort of antique finish to it? And I went with this blue tip design because Paddy's just come <laughs> to join me. I went with the blue tip design because I had a good think about what I could do as an enamel pin. And then I thought I'm working on that original of the blue tip on the 
uh, post with the ivy and stuff and this would be really nice to go along with that as like a little sort of collection so yeah I just thought that would be really nice and blue tits are very popular and it would just make a cute little pin so I sent them over the drawing that I'm doing and I also sent them the original reference that I am working from and this is what they came back to me with and I absolutely love that oh they're so cute I've never had anything like this before I've always liked the idea of doing enamel pins but being like a sort of old school artist not so much a digital artist I didn't really know where to begin with it and also where do you even look for the manufacturers it's like hard to know if the quality is going to be any good I just didn't know where to begin with it basically and this has just proven to me how beautiful they can turn out I asked for them to do it quite small so that it would be like a cute little size and I think the size is perfect I just love it oh my gosh I don't I don't know whether I should release them now or wait till I finish the drawing and release it together I think that would probably be a better idea then it's like releasing it as a collection but they sent me 30 pieces too so I've got quite a lot to like play around with but I'm definitely gonna give one to my mum and dad I think I think they'd love that so I'll just show it you again a bit closer oh I love it I absolutely love it oh I can't stop looking at it <laughs> right I'll also show you their website because they do have uh, like a design sort of process that you can go through on the website if you don't have like design software but you want to have a go at designing one yourself. You can do like drawings and stuff on there so I'll talk you through that. So this is their website and as you can see they do more than just pins on here and you can also see their rating at the bottom. And I'm just going to quickly talk you through how you can design your own pins on this website. So if you click design and then design online, it will take you to this page where you can choose a product. I'm going to choose to design the custom lapel pins and then it takes you to the designer where it details the steps that you take to do your design or alternatively you can request for them to do the design for you. So here you have the option to either upload something or you can select a template to get started. They've got so many different templates to choose from if you don't want to design from scratch. So here are just a few of them. You can add text into your design to personalise it and you can also add symbols. So there's a lot of pre-made stuff that you can pick from. I'm going to pick the pink butterfly here just for an example and show how you can overlay the different layers to build up your design. There's also a drawing element so that you can draw anything you like. You can change the size of the brush, you can change the colour. I've no idea what design I'm going for here, but I'm just having a play around. You can also move the drawing that you've just done and you can increase or decrease the size. But yeah, I'm so pleased with these and I'm very, very grateful to GSJJ for reaching out and Yakira and Joyce were really nice to work with. So I'm really pleased with how they turned out. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I will definitely be recommending you to other people if they ask me where to go for enamel pins. I should also mention that depending on which colour you choose for the metal detailing, it depends on which colour the backing is. So I think for the silver and gold it matched, it was silver and gold backing, but for the antique gold it was the black backing, which I really like. This is just another close-up in case you couldn't see it properly. I know the inner camera isn't as good as the outer camera on my phone so how cute I'm absolutely obsessed with it I'm gonna put it on something I'm gonna find something to put one on this is the other little pin that I've got it's a little panda from when me and Scott went to Edinburgh so I've just ordered a khaki green tote bag and I'm gonna start collecting them from like little trips and stuff that I go on um, my friend Cameron has a blanket that he collects patches for 
and I really like the sentiment of it. Like he's got patches from all throughout his life, places that he's been to. So I think I'm gonna start doing that with pins on a tote bag. Uh, I like how mine's got like a raised sort of effect. Gives it that sort of rustic vibe. That one's more of like a flat sort of smooth design. But yeah, I got that from Panda and Sons in Edinburgh. So I will update you when it arrives and I start my collection. Right, I've just spent most of the morning editing this vlog because I want to get it up soon. So now I can just tell Paddy is ready for a walk. So I'm going to take him back on the canal but go the other way and have a nice little walk with him and then come back and carry on with this, I think. I've managed to get like way ahead of myself on my commissions. I'm ahead of my schedule by about a month so that's why I'm allowing myself to do more YouTube work at the minute because I have a bit of extra time. I can sort of chill out a little bit. All the previous commissions that I've been doing had a deadline so it's nice to just have a bit of like a, a breather <laughs> and just work a little bit more on stuff that I'd like to do alongside it so yes. That's why I'm not following my Google Calendar as strictly this week. This is a really nice bit of the canal. I love coming here. It's very peaceful. If someone doesn't get pick it up and put it in me. Okay, so a slight change of plan. Um I just found a baby owl on the canal and it's not looking in the best health so I'm gonna have to try and figure out where to take it if there's a rescue that can help me. Right, I've just been in touch with our local wildlife rescue and they said that I did the right thing by bringing it back because there's a little bit of blood on its beak. So they're gonna check if the tawny owl rescue in Warrington has space because apparently it's better to keep tawny owls together um, and if not, they said they'll take it. So it's just a matter of waiting now to find out what's going on. I think I might have a bit of lunch and also do my social media work because then at least that's done. And if I need to drive anywhere after, I can just nip out and do it. But yeah, <laughs> what a turn of events. Honestly, I feel like th these things always happen to me, but maybe that's just because there's a lot of wildlife around here. I almost walked the other way too because Paddy were being hard work and he didn't want to go the way that I wanted to go. And then a really nice couple with a dog came and if there's a dog, he will just follow it. So <laughs> we ended up chatting and I ended up walking with them and then we saw the owl and then we were like, oh, what should we do? It was like, oh, should I go and get a box? Should you go and get a box? But um, in the end, they waited with the owl. I brought Paddy back, got a box, went back to the canal picked the owl up and then here we are so yeah I don't and when stuff like this happens I'm just like I don't even know what to do with myself now but yeah I'm gonna get on with the social I've put it in a box in the bathroom out of the way and I'll just keep it in there with some water until I figure out what to do with it so yeah right I'm just gonna go and take this little guy now to the rescue centre so hopefully he should be well looked after there I just got back from dropping the owl off at the rescue centre and I'm so annoyed at myself. The Paddy tutorial video didn't export properly so there's only like nine minutes of actual footage and because I was trying to make space on my laptop, I deleted the edited version of the video. So now I'm gonna have to re-edit it, re-export it and <laughs> upload it again. I'm so annoyed at myself. Technical issues are always bound to happen when you're doing something like this and I just wish that I'd have checked it before I deleted it. I thought I'd at least edit it in the garden to make it a bit easier. <laughs> oh, a nice roll around. The grass looks horrendous, it's a bit dead. I'm gonna try and get that back to health. <laughs> it looks a bit rubbish at the minute. Right, the video is now edited. I did that quite fast, but I've already done the, the majority of the work, like making the pencil list and stuff the first time. So that is now re-exporting and I'll get that up as soon as possible. And I've got an hour and a half before my fitness class now. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna get on with some more editing on my vlog, I think. Hello, 
it is now Friday and it's two o'clock already and I've not really filmed anything yet because to be honest I've just been editing all day like there's not really anything exciting to show you when I'm editing it's just me sat on my laptop editing everything that you've just already seen so yeah I think it's going to be quite a long vlog so I hope you don't mind the longer videos let me know down below if you prefer like a shorter snappier vlog or if you like the sort of rambly long ones like this but yeah I think now because I've got a sleepy paddy underneath me um, I might do the next part of the fox tutorial and then at least that's done I can get a little bit ahead of myself and then I need to do my social so yeah I think I'm just gonna get on with that now look how orange my hands are at both sides I've used the Garnier um, I'll show you Garnier summer body and because I rubbed it in with my hands it's just gone really orange I've always got orange hands though in tutorials so I don't think it'll be a surprise to anyone I'm gonna do one of those transitions again where you go before after so I didn't do loads, but I just wanted to get some done and I think it looks really good. So in the next video, I'll do the nose and then I can sort of do the surrounding areas and connect it all together. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. I think this is going to be so pretty once it's done. I just love anything that has like a little bit of something going on, you know, like a bit of foliage, a bit of flowers. I would like to add a lot more flowers to my work in future. So yeah really like that i'm happy with it so it's now just after three and i'm gonna get on with my two hours oh scott's here two hours of social media work and then i'm done for the day and it's the weekend Hello, it is now the week after and I thought I'd just pop on here to end the video. I filmed a few little bits at the weekend but not much really so I thought I'd just add them in anyway. But yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll leave a link down below for the enamel pins if you're interested in having a look for yourself. And yeah, please make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it because it really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more like this and I shall hopefully see you in the next one so bye for now